definitely uh, looking forward to, like I said, leaving my footprint, doing everything I can to, you know, allow this team to win a lot of games. Stop the cap. <laughs> So, <laughs> it actually happened, Raider Nation. Devontae Adams is heading to the New York Jets to go play with his former buddy, Aaron Rodgers. Kind of ironic because the Jets looked just like the Raiders, or even worse than the Raiders yesterday against the Buffalo Bills on Monday Night Football. But nonetheless, the Raiders finally get a deal done. And Devontae Adams' days with the Silver and Black have officially ended. Now, this news did come out today that the Raiders traded away Devontae Adams. I woke up in the morning, I was like, oh, damn. This actually happened, you know, and I was wondering what the, the details were, but found out quickly that the Raiders traded him to the New York Jets for a third round pick, a, a conditional 2025 third round pick. And honestly, I thought we could have gotten a lot more for uh, Devontae Adams. But, you know, hey, I can't complain with the situation right now. I know a lot of people are saying the most we can get is a second round pick. And at that, a lot of teams weren't trying to, you know, spend that much on Devontae Adams, you know, a aging wide receiver uh, that's going to get paid a lot of money these next couple of years. So I kind of took a step back, kind of had to think about this whole situation. I'm like, you know what? It just made sense for the Raiders to kind of move on from Devontae Adams. Looking at our situation right now, I don't even know how many games we're going to win. On top of that, you will, you guys already know the quarterback situation isn't, isn't that great. You know, we've been playing the quarterback carousel ever since we let go of Derek Carr. And right now, it didn't really make a lot of sense to keep a... You know, a top five wide receiver on the roster, paying him that much money at the end of his career, kind of basically just to have him go out there and be subpar because we don't have a guy that could just throw to him. On top of that, we know that Devontae Adams was kind of getting really frustrated with the team and everything going on. And with all the drama that's been going on and off the field, especially with AP and Devontae Adams, with AP liking uh, that one post of Devontae's days being numbered, we all knew that this day would come. We just didn't know what team was going to, you know, cough up some picks. Uh, it was between the Saints and the New York Jets because we all know that Devontae wanted to go play for, you know, a quarterback that he once played for and D Derek Carr and Aaron Rodgers are the only two quarterbacks that everybody was thinking about. But I guess he gets his wish, right? He gets to go to the New York Jets and play for an organization that just recently fired their head coach that just lost to the Bills that are two and four, just like the Las Vegas Raiders. They are all over the place as well. Aaron Rodgers ain't getting any younger either. So I don't know. I guess it was a lose-lose situation for the Raiders. Hey, we got something in return for it. We can move on from this situation. Um, but it's not like the Jets are doing any better than the Raiders. Let's be honest. Now, I will say that the Jets do have a lot more weapons than the Raiders offensively. And maybe, you know, having Devontae Adams could spark something for that team. Maybe they could be a pretty good team. I'm, I'm not banking on that. Neither am I banking on the Raiders to do much this year. But I, I think the Raiders will be okay the rest of the season. I don't know how well we're going to do. I, I don't think we're going to even make the playoffs. If they do, then, you know, man, there is a guy. You know what I mean? But the situations aren't that good. The Jets were the only ones that were going to bite. So, so be it. It is what it is. I honestly thought that the Raiders could have got a little bit more in return for this. You know, if we were going to get thir a third round pick, maybe we could have gotten Mike Williams. Because I hear that they're shopping Mike Williams right now. He's the odd man out in New York. And, I mean, we could use a wide receiver over here. And Mike Williams would have been a solid receiver, at least, uh, you know, side by side with Jacoby Myers. But we do got some young talent right now in Trey Tucker and DJ Turner that, you know, their stock could possibly rise up, but, you know, our offense ain't going to look any better if uh, Lugetsi is still here. So I'm hoping that, you know, AP can still make some business decisions and uh, fire Lugetsi. Even after that, I don't even know what we're going to do. I don't even know what the, the, the next step would be after doing that because there's not really that much options. I think Tom Telesco right now is kind of looking towards the future and what the Raiders can do next season because this season... <clears throat> Even though I thought we were going to go 12 wins, I doubt that that'll happen this year. I think that they're looking uh, forward to the future because it if everybody stays intact, if uh, Mark Davis keeps this regime around, which I'm pretty sure he will, we at least have something to look forward to in the offseason. I mean, we do every single offseason, but I think this offseason might be a little bit different yet again. I say that all the time and it never it never changes. But nonetheless, like I said, Devontae Adams got traded today for a conditional uh, 2025 third round pick. Now, this can be a second round pick if, if Adams makes the first or second team all pro 
and is on the active roster for the AFC Championship game or a Super Bowl. So basically, we got a third round pick because <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't see the Jets doing any of that. I mean, Devontae could possibly make a second team All Pro, maybe a first team All Pro. Who knows? He goes over there and he balls out, which that would be the worst thing for us because it'll be kind of like a slap in the face for us, you know, the Raider Nation. But I don't see the Jets going that far, and if they do, then. Damn, they must be a lucky ass team. Now, the cherry on top of this whole day, which I thought was kind of like a little disrespectful. I, I didn't even know how to take this, but uh, Devontae Adams was basically with Aaron Rodgers on the Pat McAfee show. Aaron Rodgers was on there and out of the blue, Devontae Adams is in the same room with him. Now, the real question is, what was he doing over there in Aaron Rodgers room this whole time, right? OK, so as soon as you hear the new. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Well, well, well! Here he is. <laughs> hey, good to see you, Tay. Good to see you, man. Congrats. What's up, fellas? Hey, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Uh, it's kind of crazy to see him on there. I kind of saw it as a little bit disrespectful because who knows how long he was over there in New York. And this could have all been something that they've talked about a lot. And he already knew he was going to get traded away. I don't know, but watching the video and looking at him, he looks happy. I mean, obviously, he gets to reunite with Aaron Rodgers. He, he looks much happier than he was these past couple of seasons after Derek Carr left. And I don't know, that hamstring looks pretty good. And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I am pretty sure, about 98% sure that if Devontae Adams gets clear this week, he's most likely going to be playing this Sunday. I just have a feeling that the Raiders kind of put him on the shelf because they didn't want him to get hurt or anything. I mean, he did have a bit of a tweak on his hamstring, but they didn't want to risk anything, especially knowing that we were going to trade him away. But I know he's much happier. He might go out there and ball out. I hope he doesn't because, you know, I'm just being a little bit petty, but... I don't know, man. I'm a big fan of Devontae Adams, and I loved him coming over here in the silver and black. My boy looked good in the silver and black. Pause. And I felt like we could have done something great over here, but I don't know. These new regimes, they didn't, they, they don't know what to do at the quarterback position, and I, I know I stated this before in a, a video. Uh, the last video I did about Devontae Adams uh, requesting a trade was the fact that the Raiders just never addressed that quarterback position, especially moving on from Derek Carr. We had no answer. We didn't have anybody that could come in and replace uh, Derek Carr as our starting quarterback or franchise quarterback. We've just been bringing in a lot of different veteran quarterbacks that just haven't shown much. Obviously, Gardner mentioned this year, AOC has been hasn't really been that good. I mean, it's kind of funny because a lot of Raiders fans thought we were going to keep Devontae Adams now that, you know, AOC was the starter and shit he didn't look any better than garner Minshew did you know especially out there against the stillers and then last year we brought in jimmy g as much as i like to joke around about jimmy g he wasn't that guy either so i guess this whole thing just makes sense that he would want to go somewhere else and play with a quarterback that he played with even though he's past his prime it is what it is but looking back at you know Devontae's whole journey it hasn't been easy and it's been a roller coaster of different things of emotions i mean as raider fans this is what we deal with every single year there's always something that happens josh mcdaniels and dave ziegler they made a big statement made a big move in 2022 when they went out and traded our first round pick and second round pick for Devonte adams they bring him over here to reunite with Derek carr everybody's happy the raider nation is excited we feel like we're going to turn things around we might even go to the playoffs or the super bowl but we end up having a subpar season going 6-11. and 11. The Raiders move on from Derek Carr. They release him. And the whole question was, who was going to be the replacement? Now, the Raiders will go on and bring in Jimmy G, draft AOC, even going into this season, getting Garner Minshew, but never addressing a franchise quarterback for the future. Our offense obviously started to get worse and worse and worse. And coming into this season with Luke Getze as the offense coordinator, I think it's been the worst by far there's a lot of drama going on off the field ap like in different posts like an idiot rumors of trades going on even though Devonte keeps coming on saying you know i'm not trying to get traded i want to be over here and be a raider for the rest of my life cap and that all leads into today where we trade him away to the new york jets now what does this mean for the raiders moving forward like i said earlier i do kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel i know a lot of Raiders fans don't want to hear it i mean we've been dealing with this so many many years but if we're going to look at the bright side of this whole thing Forget what Devontae Adams has done for this team. Forget all the drama and whatnot. The Raiders will be saving $36 million in cash space in 2025. We'll also be saving 
37 million dollars in 2026 so going into the offseason in 2025 the raiders will have somewhere around 105 million dollars in cap space that's a lot of money to play around and we could definitely bring in a lot of pieces and weapons over here not only that though with the way the season is looking right now i'm pretty sure that the raiders are going to have a pretty high draft pick next offseason so quarterback has definitely got to be at the top of the list of positions to address in the offseason. I mean, there is no excuse, no excuse whatsoever not to go address a quarterback, depending on what the season entails for the rest of this year. But I know for a fact everybody's wanting a quarterback, and if AP and Tom Telesco is staying, they got to invest in the quarterback next year. On top of that, get a good offense coordinator that could come in and take over the reins and just build a great offense. But again, you know, that's all easier said than done. Now, of course, Raider Nation was going crazy. I, I don't know what to think about this, but we got a lot of Raider fans, one being Damian Lillard. We all know that he's a huge diehard Raider fan, and he's just as frustrated as all of us. He tweeted out after all of this saying, now watch Tay go and do a Randy Moss in New England, shaking my head. That can possibly happen. And if that does happen, then we most likely get a second round pick. But I doubt, I highly doubt that Devontae goes over there and kills it and has record breaking seasons and they go far into the Super Bowl or whatnot. I doubt that ever happens. Now, could it happen? Yes, it could happen. But I highly doubt it. It's just crazy to me, like looking at all these regimes that we've had these past couple of years, there's been big changes and we haven't had much to show for it. John Gruden came in. And he traded away Khalil Mack and Amari Cooper, two key pieces for the Raiders. Josh McDaniels came in. He released Derek Carr, a big key piece for the Raiders for the past nine years. And then AP comes in and they trade away Devontae Adams, a key piece that we brought in during the Josh McDaniels era. As Raider fans, what more can we say? We're used to this. We're used to the drama. We're used to the news. We're used to everything being revolved around us bad things negative things so it is what it is we got to move forward i know that there's a lot of raider fans that are mad and pissed off about this they don't like Devonte adams and heck some people are putting him in the same breath as randy moss and ab now i don't know if i could go that far into saying that but what do you guys think about this do you guys feel like he he should be put in that same category with randy moss and ab and also what do you guys think about this trade do you think it was the right move for the raiders how do you feel about Devontae Adams with his last couple of days in the silver and black? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Now, in some other big news that came out today as well, Tom Brady officially becomes part owner of the Las Vegas Raiders. We all know that he was, you know, fighting to become a part owner and he was just waiting to get approval. And as, as far as today, according to Ian Rappaport, Tom Brady has now been officially approved by the NFL owners as a limited partner of the Raiders with his 5% stake official, but a total purchase of 10% by Brady and his partner. His playing career is now over. Of course, he can't play in the NFL anymore because he's an owner of the Raiders. It's kind of crazy to kind of hear that, you know, Tom Brady has some type of stake in the Raiders. I mean, he's the guy that basically ruined our franchise all those years ago with the tuck rule. And now he's coming over here and, you know, trying to turn this thing around. And I hope that he turns it around because he's the guy that kind of ruined it for us years ago. It, it'll be kind of ironic if Tom Brady becomes that guy that can turn this whole franchise around and make it great again. Who knows? You know, we can all dream right now in saying that there was also reports coming around that Tom Brady will have a big say in what goes on with the Raiders moving forward. And I, I kind of look at this as, you know, Mark Davis wanting to bring in a football mind, a guy that could come in and be, you know, his right hand man to make those decisions, to make those business decisions and what's best for the Raiders moving forward. And Tom Brady being as great as he is and, you know, being the GOAT in the in the whole NFL history, you know, I would say. I think he'd be the perfect mind. We don't know how he will be as an owner. Time will only tell, but you know, I, I think this will be great for the Raiders moving forward. And I hope he makes those wise decisions that helps us, you know, become a, a, a story franchise uh, for years to come. You know, he's already partnered with Mark Davis with the Aces now with the Raiders, but he's not the only Patriot that's in the building now because Richard Seymour, former Raider, has also bought stake and has been approved for 0.5 percent of the Raiders. So he's kind of part owner of the Raiders as well. And he was really excited about this news. He tweeted out right after saying, I'm deeply grateful, humble, and honored to become an NFL owner. This is a mission of a lifetime, and I accept it with both purpose and pride. With great opportunity comes great responsibility. Shout out Spider-Man. I pledge to be a worthy steward of our game and all it makes possible at 
the Raiders. I guess with one big news comes another big news. I just hope that these guys can have turned this franchise around. That's all we want. We're tired, stressed. I don't know how much my mental can take with this team every single year, but I hope that this is a step in the right direction. Now, Marky Mark had some jokes today because I guess he was really excited about this news, having Tom Brady over here, but he said that the Raiders basically traded Devontae Adams for Tom Brady. I just kind of wish that Tom Brady was our quarterback and not part owner because we definitely need a quarterback on the roster right now. But with that said, Raider Nation, I don't want to waste any more of you guys' time. What do you guys think about this news? Tom Brady now being a Raider, basically. Do you think it's a good move for the Raiders moving forward? Are you worried? Do you think it's a bad move? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Until next time, this is your boy, Simone Raider, and your boys, yeah!